Welcome to an introduction to Altium Designer Libraries. In this module, we will explore the typical Altium Designer supported library options. Altium Designer supports schematic, PCB, integrated, and database libraries. In addition, components can reside in vaults as well. We will explore the schematic, the PCB, and the integrated libraries in our next few modules. The schematic library contains circuit symbols used in the schematic capture of the design. Schematic library files have the extension .schlib. The PCB library contains the footprints used on the PCB. They include the silkscreen and metal layer geometries, as well as the 3D models. The file extension for PCB library is .pcblib. While both schematic and PCB library files can be used individually in Altium for design capture and PCB layout, using an integrated library combines both into a single file, as you can see here. The integrated library is portable, containing all of the basic needed elements for design capture and layout. Projects can also have localized library files as well. These are convenient when specialized custom libraries are needed, which should not be widely used. Say, for example, you have components for an RF chain, that you want to have reduced silkscreen and or very custom pads. As a review, in an earlier module, we installed the WCT integrated library. Let's open up the library panel and click on the library button and open up the library installed tab. Looking at the installed tab, we can see the currently available libraries. These are all integrated libraries. The two miscellaneous libraries come with the install of Altium, and we installed the WCT library earlier in the course. These three libraries are available for any project because they are in the Installed tab. One thing to note, if you have multiple libraries with the same component names, kind of a bad idea, but it does happen, the order in which they are listed here is the order that the tool will search for them. So please be aware of this feature. In particular, the footprints could be different for the same name schematic symbol. So in order to prevent the wrong footprints from being used, either have a unique name for each of your schematic symbols with the footprints or using the activated checkbox. You can uncheck it so the tool will not use or see that disabled library. Clicking on the project tab shows the libraries that are associated with this project specifically. And these would not be generally available to other projects. I say generally because they could also have been added manually into those projects. The SL1 project has a schematic library, a footprint library, and a legacy 3D model library. The 3D models are now included in the PCB footprint library. With both the project and installed libraries, we can change their order by selecting them and clicking on the Move Up and Down buttons as desired. Adding a new library is done using the Add Library button. Navigating to the location of the desired library, selecting it and clicking on Open. Here we will add a simulation library for just for illustration purposes. Now with the newly added library, we can illustrate removing it with the Remove button. This does not delete the library file, just the tool linked to it. 